guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ekai Tigere. If you're new here, welcome. So I had a chat, a book chat with David from Zambian Reader, also known as the Curators account on Twitter. So let's just check it out. Welcome to another episode of Book Chat uh, with Sekai. Um, some of you might remember that we tried to host um, uh, a chat uh, some few weeks ago, but we had issues with the network. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are now. I'm in a space with a nice bookshelf behind me. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so some of you know Sekai already, but Sekai, for those of you who don't know, Sekai is um, a reader, a mother, a love tech, um, a YouTuber, uh, a cook, amongst many other things. Uh, so yeah, we try and, and catch up with that sort of her life and so talk about how you do um, as well. So welcome. Thank welcome you, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have no questions on, uh, on the phone, so I'll be asking them from here. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think the, the, the first thing that we have to talk about is your YouTube channel, since we are on your channel. So yeah. just tell us about like what do you do on this channel um, and how do you decide what to post and stuff like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so initially, how I started my channel is I wanted to do something with my talent, right? Because everybody like everybody has a talent and the Bible says that you have to use your talent for the benefit of other people. So I didn't have any of those talents that like the ones that everybody like talks about like singing, mm -hmm. dancing, mm -hmm. but I think I can talk. I like talking, I like chatting. So I thought what can I do with talking? So I started a YouTube channel. So before my YouTube channel, I posted, I used to post videos on my Facebook and then I started posting them on YouTube. So I just opened this channel to just teach people whatever I learned. So because I know how to cook shima, I'll just come here, cook shima, so that I can just show you guys how I cook shima. So that's how I open my channel. Then what I talk about is whatever relates to me. So I like cooking, I cook, I like books, I talk about books. So whatever relates to me, so it's like a personal, blog yeah but mostly it's parenting cooking that's food traveling as well traveling yeah so if i just go out yeah yeah if i have a lot of money guys i'm going to <laughs> buy <laughs> Uh, yeah. sure that, yes. <laughs> like, like, I'm going to see the photos of Bali and Indonesia and like, it'd be nice to go there. Yeah, I, I hope something more interesting doesn't mm. come up before we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, like one of the things that we talked about recently, I think it was with Malimba. Yeah. Um, we talked about how, as a creator, you always have to deal with negative comments around your work. Mm. Um, so, do you have ever gotten any like, negative re reviews on how do you handle it? People say, ah, this was a nice, I don't like what you're doing, stop yeah. that, or something like that. Okay, uh, first of all, I've got a strong, so there are different, those people who criticize to build, mm -hmm. then there are those people who just criticize just for the sake of criticizing. Mm -hmm. So I'm very critical about people who, uh, who just like comment or criticize my channel, because sometimes people will just say, say stuff because maybe they don't really see the bigger, vision of what you're trying to build so they'll just say stuff based on that small thing that they've seen so i just switch off from that but that's strong like i can easily just shut down and pretend like it never happened and sometimes someone will say something very hateful i'll just like i'll just remember but like, i'll look at it and i'll just be like yeah, right, right. Out. <laughs> then there are those people who really like care i really like conversate with people who tell me stuff that builds my channel. Mm -hmm. For example, there's somebody who worked so hard like to send me mm -hmm. clips last year. Mm -hmm. I just forgot his name, but he sent me clips last year, like in my email of like things about how I can grow my channel. He sent me how to do thumbnails and all those kind of things that he told me like, oh, we really like your channel. And that was when I had, I think 50 subscribers or less. Oh. And they were like, no, we really like your channel, but mm -hmm. if you could just in like probably. invest in it, like maybe do better quality videos mm -hmm. and all those things. And I thought about, like I really need to work on this because if people are watching my channel and they mm -hmm. even want me to grow, so mm -hmm. okay. yeah. That's yeah, right. so that explains why you moved from being good on your phone to having yeah. like a whole Yes, production. I was like, oh, I actually have an audience. So <laughs> let's put good quality things yeah. up there, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. So at, at the beginning you mentioned that you post stuff that you like. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, and uh, and I know someone who likes quite a lot of things. Yes. Do you feel overwhelmed, like with stuff that you could talk about? Because like, you know, you see some some nice book or some nice food and mm -hmm. some thing. Um, yeah, like don't you ever feel like 
Of our will. I do, a yeah. lot actually. Yeah. So I, I did like this the other day, mm-hmm. like I have so many ideas, mm-hmm. but they're extensive guys. Like, like my ideas <laughs> are my ideas yeah. are just like I want to go out there like to a bookshop and just but then all these things, first of all I just spend their time consuming. So if I want to go and to a bookshop I want mm-hmm. to get the missions right later, like yeah, all these yeah, kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah. But then there's just so many things. Like when I sit down, I'm like, what am I going to post about? Yes, I want to cook. But then, what I want to cook first of all, <laughs> magic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I really I get along. But then, yeah. um, I'll say somebody the other day, like, you know, I just write down everything mm-hmm. and then I just think what I can do mm-hmm. at the time. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so that keeps you balanced now. Because I know I'm going to be doing this for a very long time. So yeah. even if I don't do some of the things now, I can do, I can do them later. Okay, that's good. Um, and I think most, most of us, again, from. from Instagram and Twitter, we, we know you as Gita's mom. Yes. Um, so like how, I think there's some videos where you've done some videos with her. Um, there's some where she's come to in, interrupt you as yeah, filming. Like how do you balance that side, you know, being a mother uh, amongst many things you're doing? Okay, so I think one of the things that I, I do and that has worked is involving her mm-hmm. in what I do. Like even today, I'm out here shooting and she's with me. Mm-hmm. Although I don't, I'm not, she's not in this video, but then she's just with me and yeah. we actually have conversations. She's like, what are you talking about? What are you going to shoot about? She knows, it, like she can literally, like if I was to go away and she has to do this yeah. for me, yeah. she would know what she to do. Knows, yeah. She knows how to say the introduction, how to conclude and everything. Mm-hmm. Even with work, she always asks me, how was work? What were you doing? And she really wants to go to work with me. Okay. But then because of COVID, yeah, I can't yeah. go with her now. And yeah. because I work in a lab, I really need to see how well she yeah, did. Yeah. But I'll take her one day. So she okay. just, I just involve her in everything that I do. All right. Mm-hmm. So uh, since we're talking about, uh, about Gita now. And let's just talk about like her and books. Um, so let's now move from like YouTube to, to books as well. How easy is it for you to get her to read? Um, you know, I feel like most parents are struggling with getting their kids to read because there's competing stuff, you know, there's Disney Channel, um, you know, there's playing outside and all these things that kids are interested in. So how do you get her to read? If she reads. Okay. She doesn't read, yeah. but she would think she reads with her phone. Because yeah. she's, I think, oh, okay, I'm still trying to learn the kind of person that she is, and mm-hmm. I've just realized that she's not so much into books. So she wouldn't read a book that doesn't have pictures, mm-hmm. but once you read a book to her, she'll mm-hmm. go and read it for someone else. So she won't read the words, mm-hmm. she'll remember the story, and she'll turn every page. <laughs> And yeah. tell you exactly what's on that page. So, people always think like she knows. She yeah, I, at mm-hmm. some point I thought she started knowing how to read. Mm-hmm. Until at some point I realized she's just got a very good memory. Mm-hmm. So, she will remember that this way is peak. <laughs> but not that yeah. she can read okay. peak. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, so, how are you trying to get her to read? Are you doing anything in particular? Or for now, you just like going with the flow? Okay, for now I'm going with the flow because at some point I got a little bit frustrated. I think that's like a lot of parents because mm-hmm. you want your child to move at your yes, your yes, pace. Yes, yes, yes. So I used to get really frustrated. I'm mm-hmm. like, no, Kita, we need to. Kita, we need to. So now I like learn one sentence. I just like, if she wants to memorize, because I've realized even as like it's not like we know how to read everything. Yes, Sometimes yes. we don't read. It's mm-hmm. our memory yeah. at work. Like mm-hmm. you know that word is home. Yes. So it's not like you're going to read it, but yeah. you know it's home. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know how she's going to learn, but then I just expose her to books. Okay. Then. I feel like, you know, the, the human mind is a very interesting place. Yeah. Um, it's like you said about reading. We, do we really know the words or do we like memorize the words? Um, and so now, how do you memorize all these thousands of <laughs> words and still know them? Yeah. And, you know, um, it's something interesting. I'm pretty sure someone did a study on this. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's get let's get back to you. I know you did a video about stuff that's in your bag. Yeah. Um, and I know that in your bag you carry a book with you. So what book I carry in your bag today? And you know, like what books have you carried in the last two, three weeks, three months? Three weeks. Okay. The last the book I read today. I finished my book and I don't mm-hmm. know what I'm going to read. I've just read my book right today. Oh, okay. Is House Boy. Mm-hmm. Then before that. I was doing a manuscript found in a car, which was in my was in my bank video. Then I also decided to go back in time. Like I think a lot of us can relate. Like when we were in school, we read uh, like James Handy Chess books. Okay, I read a lot of yeah. James Handy Chess. So I went back in time and I just wanted to read the James Handy Chess. So I read James Handy Chess. 
I can't remember. Okay. I have a list, but yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. So you're saying you have a list. Is that list for like the whole year or it's few months? How do you yeah. like, how do you how how I help you plan your reading? I don't plan my reading. I try to plan my reading mm -hmm. and like I read that was 2019. I had a whole list of books that I wanted to read. Mm -hmm. But what happened is I couldn't read all the books that were there. Like all the, I just like I would see another interesting book and read the other interesting book. So now I don't I mm -hmm. don't read. So my list like for this is I'm um, tracking what I've read. Okay. Okay. So not necessarily that. So I don't know what I'm reading what I'm gonna start reading today. Okay. I don't know. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wait, you, you finish the book today and you want to start reading a book today as well. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever have that issue where like, you finish a book and you're like, ah, let me just wait a week, two days, three days? Mm, it's usually hard. That usually happens when I'm trying to force myself to read something mm -hmm. that I need but I don't want to read. Okay. So they're like, oh, you better have a book that I'll read you. <laughs> <laughs> My boss gave me a book that yeah. I'm supposed to read. It's a medical epidemiology book. So I need to read that for work. So it's not really it like count. so that's why I just forgot that I yeah. have a book, so it doesn't yeah. count. So yeah. those are the books that yeah. like sometimes I'm like, let me not read a book that I want, let me try to finish this and then just waste my time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so now um how do you decide a book? Like you said, you probably you, you probably read a book to this. How do you decide, okay, uh the book must do this and that and that, then I can pick it. Like how, do you, how do you pick books? Let's talk about I just and, and wish, like, so uh, yeah. if I'm going to buy a book, I'll just get to the bookshop mm -hmm. and then I'll just look at all the books that are there. Yeah. Then I'll just be like, okay, this is the book. Mm -hmm. Then other days, if I'm not buying, because mm -hmm. I, I don't have books in my on my bookshelf, okay. my personal bookshelf yeah. that I haven't read. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so yes, yeah, so every time I buy a book, I read. So I don't relate to those people who buy books and keep. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> buy books and keep. Okay. I buy and read. Okay. So if I like go to someone's bookshelf, mm -hmm. maybe they want me to borrow a book from them, mm -hmm. then I'm, I'm going to just see like which book can I reach. Sometimes I reach places and I'm like, ah, there's nothing I can read. I haven't read these books, but I don't feel like reading them. Okay. Okay. So I just go with what I feel. Okay. So if you go to uh, books by shelf, does it mean that if you find a book of a nice kind of cover, you know, mm -hmm. you can get this book, or like you check the synopsis first? So the question you go first, the, the cover or the story? No. I, I read books I've heard about. Ah, okay. I, so if, I haven't, if I've never heard about a book, I probably won't read it. Okay. So some of the places where I check for books are like, I check books on Bill Gates' list. I've never mm -hmm. disappointed, I've never been disappointed mm -hmm. by that mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. Then I check like Goodreads and mm -hmm. see the popular books. So if I want to read a classic, I just check the popular classics. Yeah, and then, so like there are the classics I want to read that I haven't even read. So mm -hmm. once I just find it on the bookshelf, I'll probably okay. pick it. You know, I've always checked uh, the Bill Gates. Populist. and he really does put out some really good books. Yes. <laughs> um, I haven't yet read any yet. Have you ever read Bonnie Crime? Uh, no, Bonnie Crime not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of those books are. You are going with me. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> I should. Yeah. Uh, many, many, many people have thought about it. I haven't yet picked the book from the, from the store or downloaded it. Yeah. Uh, but since they gave it to me, since they lent it to me, <laughs> then I'll get it and then we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um, another thing that I think we probably want to find out from you is we've gone six months into the year. Mm -hmm. What's been your favorite book this year? Assuming you have one or one. It's multiple. I got one. Okay, right now, because I just read the manuscript found in Accra, mm -hmm. so I would say that's like my favorite book. And okay. it's really easy, it's good. Like, mm -hmm. you guys, Paolo, those of you who read The Alchemist. Yeah, Paolo Gaylor is a good reader. The manuscript found in Accra is better. <laughs> According to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I think I have a friend who agrees with her on that. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm getting ready, but it's <laughs> like, dude, get this book. It's a really good book. Um, I'll check it out. Yeah, you should. You should. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's one of the books that's on my list. I tried, I tried to read uh, his other book, Alex. With Alex for Alex. I haven't read it. I've only read three of them. Oh, you failed to read it? I failed to read it. Um, I tried it again sometime. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, that book just me. All right. I'll uh, try it. Yeah, so we talked about this um, a bit in passing. But like, what's, your, what's the most influential book you've read ever this year or like in your whole life? Um, yeah, what's the most influential book? One. Yeah. Okay, I'm not good at answering these one questions. I'm not good at answering that one. Mm -hmm. 
So, influential books. So, first of all, there's the richest man in Babylon. I can't say I've done everything that's in that book, but every time a friend makes like a financial decision, I usually just remember. Sometimes when people make bad decisions, I'm mm-hmm. like, mm hmm, because you haven't read that book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then the other book is um, We're Going to Need More Wine by Gabriel Union. Yeah. So, it was really hard for me to read that book. When I started it, I was like, mm this is too deep, this is too not me. <laughs> yeah. But then when I, when I stopped reading it, I'm mm-hmm. going to read something else my mind couldn't get off it yeah. and then I read about it and there's just so many uh, stuff that she talks about mm-hmm. that most people do not want to talk about yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I really like that book mm-hmm. okay. okay that's good um like I know we're almost at the end of our discussion so let's talk about books that you recommend um so do you have any for people like mm-hmm. books that books that you must go pick up and read um they can be as many as you want them First of all, go and put my video on my favorite books. Just give them a sneak. Yeah, but then, yeah. um, it, the first one is obviously The Richest Man in Babylon, mm-hmm. Born in Crime by Trevor Noah, mm, Redeeming Love. Yeah, that's it. And by Francine Rivers, that's like a story. Okay, Redeeming Love. <laughs> then there is also another book by Max Lucado called mm-hmm. A Love Worth Giving. I like that book because it really um, defines. God's love for us. It really just defines love. Then, oh my gosh, Trauma Numbers, <laughs> yeah, DJ, half of a yellow sun and America. I feel like this, this list will keep going on and on and on. Okay, this, this, it, no, yeah. should we end there or anything? Okay, yeah. Anyway, no, for now. No, 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 check the link that you have posted. Yes. Um, then I'm sure you'll see your whole list of books that you recommend. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think this has been a very good discussion. Um, yeah, we've, we've talked about the books that you like, and why you take books, how you take books. Hopefully, people out there will use what you've said and you know pick up some pick up some of those tips. And we're also waiting for you to go to that tour of the bookstore. Um, I will. Let me yeah. work on permissions yeah, and all those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. I will. Like now that you've said it, I feel pressure. <laughs> that's that's why I said it. <laughs> yeah, we are waiting. All of us on uh, Zambia Media, Instagram, and Create Reason. Yeah, we are waiting. All five thousand of us. <laughs> so, you know, we are back. I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> we will do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think uh, for me, this is this is it. Thanks for attending or watching uh, today's podcast. Uh, now, uh, you should also tell for subscribe because most people are watching. I'm from Zambia, really, obviously, <laughs> and yeah. also my, my subscribers and yeah. new people here. So. Just remind them to subscribe, like, share, you know, those kinds of things. Alright, so, you know the dubs in the city. Let us do the right thing. Uh, you know, so, guys, some very good content um, on books, on life, uh, parenting, and traveling. And I think all of us kind of like that stuff. So, make sure you subscribe to our channel, you know, uh, subscribe and hit the bell, and follow on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to our hashtag. You can do those things. Alright, yeah. cool. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.